Hey friends, Andrew here. Today we're tackling one of the biggest challenges for any gardener, reclaiming a messy garden. This patch here has been a source of frustration for months, for me anyway, and I'm relieved to know it will soon be looking good again. And whether you're dealing with a jungle of weeds or just a few stubborn invaders, I've got you covered with tried and true methods to bring your garden back to life. So every garden is different. So one size fits all approach doesn't necessarily work here. Other than to say, remove the weeds, obviously. And I, and I, I don't think that's helpful. Instead, I'll share a range of methods to help you choose which method is best for you. Method one. First up is the stirrup hoe, one of, the, one of my go-to tools for quick weeding. It's designed to slice through weeds just below the surface, cutting them off at the root and leaving the soil intact. This is perfect for removing seedlings to small plants and for covering large areas quickly without breaking your back. Method two. For those tough weeds, that just won't quit, sometimes you've got to get hands on. Hand pulling is ideal for targeting individual weeds, especially those with that creep and send runners. For these, dig a few inches deep into, to remove as much of the root as possible. This is often best when weeds are growing among plants that you want to keep. For larger, non-creeping or vine-like weeds, cutting them at the base near the soil is effective and minimizes soil disturbance. If you're passionate about gardening, consider becoming a channel member. Each member receives a seed share from annual harvests. Home safe seeds often produce more vigorous and reliable plants, offering you a unique opportunity to grow something special. Okay, right back into method three. If you're dealing with tall grasses or large areas, a weed bushwhacker can be your best friend. It's fast, it's efficient, and it gets the job done without breaking a sweat. Let the fallen vegetation remain or compost it. This method works great in conjunction with method four. Next up is a super effective low maintenance method, plastic mulch. By blocking sunlight, it smothers weeds and keeps them from taking over. It's also great for protecting your topsoil and warming up the soil early in the, in the season, in the spring. How you use it, simply lay the plastic over your garden and secure the edges with landscape staples or heavy weights, really whatever you got laying around. Gravel bags, bricks, rocks, whatever. Okay, method five. Don't forget the edges. An edging tool helps you create clean lines, keeping your garden neat and preventing grass and weeds from creeping into your beds. Reclaiming your garden also means it's time to harvest those ripe veggies. Regular harvesting keeps your garden productive and it prevents overgrowth from taking over. Trimming overgrowth or dying leaves is key to maintaining a healthy garden. It imp improves air circulation and sunlight to those healthy leaves, which helps prevent disease and keeps your plants thriving. A bug lo loves nothing more than sickly leaves. If you have plants that sprawl, like potatoes, this method is a lifesaver. Simply drive stakes into each corner of your bed and run, the, run a rope around them train the potato veg, potato veg, train the vegetative growth upwards, keeping your walkways clear and your plants under control. I try to remember that plants always need more room than you think they're gonna need. So remember that when you're transplanting. Okay, there you have it, eight methods to reclaim your garden and get it ready for a beautiful season, whether that be the fall, the spring, the summer, it doesn't matter when you're watching this. And whether you're a new gardener or a seasoned pro, these techniques will help you keep your garden in tip-top shape. If you found this video helpful, try getting out there and cleaning up your garden, specifically the bed that's been irking you. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you're serious about gardening, consider becoming a member. Hundreds of seeds, dozens of species, all for just $2 a month. Happy gardening, and I'll catch you on the next one.